In a previous video, I showed you how easy it is to install Windows 10 on your MacBook Pro using Bootcamp Assistant, but now I'm going to show you how to remove the Bootcamp partition with ease. It's super easy. So, you've decided to remove Windows 10 from your Mac to recover all the space used by the Bootcamp partition. Well, to do so, all you need to do is open up Launchpad, open the other folder, and then launch Bootcamp Assistant, the same tool that we use to install Windows 10 makes sense that we would use the same tool to remove Windows 10. Now remember, you want to back up any data that you have on the Windows 10 partition because it's going to outright remove all that. You're going to just see what you see right here, just one Mac OS partition. This is actually giving you a preview of what things will look like once this completes. So if you're sure you want to remove the Windows 10 partition, you want to click on Restore, put in your administrator password, and then click OK. And once you click OK, it's going to start removing that bootcamp partition which contains your Windows 10 installation. So again, that's why it's so important that you back up anything that's stored on the Windows 10 partition before you start this, because it's gonna delete that. So as you can see, it's much easier to remove the bootcamp partition and everything contained on it than it is to initially set up the bootcamp partition and install Windows 10. And the removal process just takes a few minutes, if that. So just be patient, let the process complete, and then you will have that partition removed and all of your storage space that was used by that partition will be recovered and then your Mac OS partition will be back to normal size. Okay, so the process is complete. Now just to confirm, we're gonna head over to Disk Utility, which is in the other folder as well. And now you can see there's just one partition there. And that means that all the storage space contained on the MacBook Pro's internal drive is now available for Mac OS to use again, which is awesome considering I don't have that much storage space to begin with. So ladies and gents, that's how you remove the bootcamp partition from your MacBook Pro. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.